Hey folks, Technivorous here. Today we are going to be taking a look at Shine Sing 3D Printing Tough Resin. Now this is a skin color resin. We're going to jump right into it right now for the review. The Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to check us out on Patreon, pop over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-V-O-R-O-U-S. Here, we do our best to stay up to date on the latest and greatest in 3D printing and tech and keep you informed on the latest developments in these sectors. So, if you're interested in getting updates on 3D printing or technology such as programming, robotics, artificial intelligence, and things of that nature, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like on this video, and comment about what you'd like to see in the future because we make these videos for you. All right, so like I said today, we are going over the Shine Sing. This is a tough resin. This is specified for LCD printers, not DLP or SLA, MSLA. Um, bottom exposure time for this guy is supposed to be about 60 seconds with eight seconds on the subsequent layers. I did find on some of my larger prints with either rafts or larger bases on the build plate, I did need a little bit longer of an exposure. So if you're gonna get this stuff, I recommend going with 75 seconds for the first layers. Well, let's take a look at a couple of the prints I made. So this is a Green Lantern Legion ring. Uh, it came out very nice. The details are very, very clear. I know it's kind of hard to see with my light blaring, but uh, you get the idea. And this is with no cleanup. Obviously, I could use a little bit of sanding here where the supports were. But other than that, I really, really like this model. And that brings us to this guy. Now, if you look at this print, there is a super glossy look to this. That is because I did not rinse it before I cured it, and I actually like the way it came out. It's very, very uh, reflective and shiny, so it's nice. I, I enjoy the fact that you can get two different cures from this by either rinsing or not rinsing. Now, the trouble with not rinsing is you might run into some blobs. This model was very well cleaned off from the drip process. I left it on the tray for a while before pulling it out and just curing it directly without a rinse. So um, very, very happy with the outcome there. And I'll show you two more real quick. These are ones from Harry Potter. You may have seen a video on these. These are both done in this Shine Sing Tough Resin and they were made in two pieces and bonded together really easily. And they took paint really well. So. I'm very, very happy with this stuff. I definitely recommend giving it a shot if you're looking for something on the tough side of a resin. And the skin color is pretty pretty interesting. Not something I had used before, but uh, feel free to try out the Shine Sing for sure. It is quality stuff, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.